What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new video. What are, what are we doing today? We're going over Sage Monarto and specifically if you guys saw the thumbnail we're going over potential seven star Sage Monarto. Now before I get any further into the video this is a speculation discussion my opinion you know what's to come in the future based on what I think. This is not a you know 100% seven stars are coming out tomorrow or anything like that. So just keep that in mind going forward. Now, why am I even bringing this up? So if you guys go back to this, this is the website for the second anniversary of Naruto Blazing, right? Now, in the last week or two weeks or whatever, they've been having a poll that said, you know, pick your favorite characters. Pick whatever characters you want to come back to, you know, the game or whatever. But what's specific that's very important to take a look at is this line right here. You know, favorite characters return whatever whatever are returning with enhanced stats for the second anniversary what the hell does that mean enhanced stats how are you gonna enhance the stats of all these units that are already limit broken what are you gonna do about it huh now that's what brings us to the video at hand that's why we are returning with this image right here of seven star naruto now this is a possibility it is one of the things that I think they can personally, or one of the routes they can go about making this Naruto better. Now, the only thing is that Naruto just won the poll. So, if they do make him a 7 star, he's not going to be out anytime soon. He'll probably be out, like, at the end of the month. Like, if this is the 13th, he won the poll today, right? He might be out August 31st or something like that. So, it wouldn't be like they, they could not make a 7 star character within, like, a one week span that just wouldn't work but it is something to keep in mind now why like why would he even be a seven star one thing to note is that if you guys haven't watched my previous video this is the same image i'm using from about a year and a half ago when i made this video last time but i had a shitty mic and nothing was working properly also shout out to kabuki for the image once again uh he made this concept design now the thing is the naruto image is of course you know someone's image of naruto but the background, the border, that's real. That is in the game file. That border belongs, not belongs, it's within the game. You can go search the assets and you will find that. So just keep in mind that this exists in the game already, right? It's not like, uh, you know, there's people who like, every time someone says the word seven stars, they're like, shut your mouth, man. There's no seven stars coming out of the game. And you know, I don't know why, but people just dislike seven stars and don't want seven stars to be in the game. Now, I don't know how long you guys have been playing the game, but I've been playing this game since day one, right? Back in the, back in the day, when there was only four six stars in the game, and it was only Gara, Sasuke, Naruto, and Kakashi, those four. And if you had one of those six stars, you were, oh boy, man, you were set. And it was great. When you had, when there was less than ten six stars in the game, you know how unique those six stars felt? How good it was? You'd go into PvP, and you'd pray someone had a six star. You were like, please. And then you're like, you didn't even need six stars to complete missions back then. But when you saw someone with that six star, you were like, this guy knows. This guy knows what's up, right? Or when you saw someone with a Zabuza, woo! Because you had to beat Zabuza's missions to awaken him. And you were like, man, this guy's good at the game. That was great. That's what I miss. That's why I hope they're bringing seven stars to the game. I want that uniqueness. I want that feeling that no one else has this unit that it's not the same as every other garbage unit in the game right okay they make a new blazing fest well there's already 15 blazing fest i don't give a shit about blazing fest anymore but like things like that you know i want something different i want something more special and that's why you can take a look at dokkan battle they released lrs but now it's getting to the point where lrs are getting you know that common so they're you know they're releasing blazing fest not blazing whoa, whoa. i'm done retract that they're releasing Dokkan Fest LRs, right? So, it's getting to the point where LRs are getting so common that they're just the, the standard unit now. Doesn't mean that TURs or SSRs are bad, it just means that LRs are good and commonplace. Now, that's really it for that, I don't want to talk too much about Dokkan, but it's just something to keep in mind, right? Now, where is our next unit? Where is this game going? They, like, threw out five stars from the game essentially right five stars used to be pretty important right you used to do under 28 missions and five stars was the only one that could really compete with it 
your team needs to be full of five stars. You used to grind those five stars up, limit break them up to a hundred, and you'd have an actual deadly team. But that just like that's gone. They just stopped releasing them, and I'm like, okay, I wonder why, because they were like pretty good for the game. And now everything is six stars, right? Six stars free missions, six stars emergency missions, six star impact units, six star banner units. To the point where it's so commonplace that we need something new. We need something refreshing in the game. That's why I want to see the Sage Mode Naruto 7 star. Just a little funny tidbit. I thought it was uh, pretty ironic that the original video that I did was on Sage Mode Naruto having a 7 star about a year and a half ago, right? And that was before Sage Mode Naruto came out. And then now, a year and a half later, Sage Mode Naruto wins the poll. And there's a good chance that it might happen now, after... You know, 15, 16 months. So it was, uh, it's pretty nice just to see that come back full circle. Now, this is not 100% yes, it will. But just while I'm here, if you guys want to take a look at the screen and you see the third chakra gauge, right? Where it's three chakra bars and it's, it has a skill symbol on it. Now, what, what does that mean? So back in the day when me and Kabuki were talking about this, we were thinking like, what if seven stars had... You know, they need something unique, right? They need something... It shouldn't just be enhanced stats. They need something different. Now, the difference between 5 stars and 6 stars is that they gain that second chakra gauge, right? They get the ability to have ultimate jutsu. Now, what happens when you go for a third chakra gauge? Like, if you had 4, four chakra, right? So, 4 chakra, normal jutsu, 8 chakra, uh, ultimate jutsu, and then, like, a unique, special, enhanced jutsu for 12 chakra. Now, what, what, what would happen in that case... So what we were thinking is, I'd say his normal jutsu is just our Sengon. Ultimate jutsu is, is, you know, going into stage mode or something like that. And then his, um, you know, that third chakra gauge jutsu would be the Rasen Shuriken. But what would be good about it, right? Why would, why would it even matter? So what would happen is, now this doesn't matter too much because now they have type nullification. And at that time, there was, wasn't was any that didn't exist. But we were thinking, like, what if Sage Mode Naruto was, you know, a heart unit. And then his Rasen Shuriken did skill damage, right? But he was a heart unit. His first two Jutsus would do heart damage. But then his ultimate, you know, you, whatever this, whatever you guys want to call it, Super Mega Ultimate Jutsu would do skill damage. So it would be super, super duper effective against body types. While he would still be strong against skill units. That's just something to keep in mind. It's probably not going to happen. It's just a nice little, you know, teaser, brain, think, thinking, whatever you guys want to call it. But that's really, that's that was just our personal design of how we wanted 7 stars to be. If you guys have any speculations or anything down below that you want to leave, let me know. Let me know, okay? Because I can't see the future. I don't know what's going to come out. It's just something to keep in mind. Now... Okay, let's say they don't come out with 7 stars. What happens, right? What what happens then? What do they do? So, the other thing is that one thing you'll notice is that there's no Blazing Fest characters in here, right? So, another thing that they could do is they could introduce a second Limit Break that I really don't want to happen. But, they could Limit Break any of these units up to 200. So, a new maximum level. A Limit Break V2, as uh, Dark Skin Gaming said. And how would they do it? They would use the ultimate crystals this time around. Alright, so you would go from 150 up to 200. And that's another thing they could possibly do. Right? They could limit break like that. Now, another idea is Rebirth. Right? We could have our first Rebirth character. Which is something that we were hoping for with Blazing Awaken. That they release a Blazing Awakened version of these units. And Kabuki made a concept of this very recently, right? Sage Mode Naruto Blazing, not a Blazing Awaken, but a re Rebirth. So, it's something to keep in mind. These are like the three different most likely scenarios to happen. With actually 7 stars being the least likely. The, the other two, either a Blazing Awaken version, because like I said, none of these are Blazing Fast, none of these are Blazing Bash. So a Blazing Awakened is pretty likely to happen. A... Uh, what else do you call? Other than that, they could go the route of limit break, limit breaking even further beyond two percent three style, going up to the level two hundred. Uh, their stats would be bonkers, right? Because Sage Mode Naruto is an under twenty eight character, and imagine he'll make 
if this guy gets any sort of like he's getting some sort of buff right if he whatever happens no matter what they do to him he's just gonna destroy under 28 so just keep that in mind so that's what i personally think is gonna happen let me know what you guys think down below if you guys are interested in this type of stuff the anniversary is tonight if you guys are watching this video on the same day that i released it i'm going to be doing a live stream of 1600 pearl summons on stream on jp the second the uh, you know the game goes live after maintenance so if you guys want to watch that be sure to be there in the morning i know you guys might it's summer break so maybe not everyone's going to school or not many people but some of you guys have work or anything of that sort if you guys want to watch it live be sure to be there up uh, it'll be roughly five in the morning or four in the morning est uh i don't know about other time zones you can translate from there whenever the maintenance is normally up so i'll see you guys then if you guys decide to drop by hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button like the video and comment down below anything you guys want to see me do in the future hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you all in the next one peace out